Here it is, all the information on the just released 2024 GMC Canyon AT4X AEV edition. Let's just get into it. All right, so as I just mentioned, GMC has just released the most capable off-road GMC Canyon ever made. This is the AT4X AEV edition. So this Canyon completes the trifecta of the three AEV edition trucks from GMC, of course, starting out in 2022 with the AEV edition 1500 AT4X. Then just recently in North Carolina, I got to see the 2500 AT4X AEV edition. And now, of course, we are seeing the introduction of the color or the Canyon, pardon me, uh, AEV edition. In fact, actually, while I was in North Carolina, I got to see it under the tarp. So I didn't actually see it, but it was on a trailer that was being towed in by the 2500 series truck. So I've been anticipating this release for quite some time. And let me just tell you right away, this truck does not disappoint. And what I want to tell you first and foremost is as we go through this video, what I want to do for those of you who are just curious as to what, you know, what it's changed from a regular AT4X, that's what I'm going to get to first. I'm just going to list out all the changes um, that are, you know, basically additions to what we already seen in AT4X, the regular AT4X edition what the AEV edition brings. And then after I list those, I'm going to go through them and talk about some of the, you know, some of the more specifics and why they did certain things, what it actually is, you know, what the ground clearances are, approach angles, and so on and so forth. So if you want to stay tuned longer in the video, and I'm definitely going to get more detailed, but for those you just want to find out, that's what we're going to get into first. All right, so let's quickly talk about what is different and what makes the AEV edition different from the regular AT4X. Well, there is, there is some pretty cool... This. Oh, and actually, before we get into that, why don't I just quickly tell you, if you're not familiar with a, what AEV is, it's American Expedition Vehicles. They've been doing off-road vehicle enhancements since for over 25 years, is my understanding. Anyways, and let me tell you, I got a chance to tour the facilities. I met a great guy down there, Matt Felderman, and I can tell you this firsthand, I would absolutely trust my vehicle in the hands of AEV because they make some spectacular stuff and honestly you could eat off the floor in that place it was so immaculate everything was so well organized you could just tell it's a very very well run organization which of course i can obviously see is a reason why gmc would partner with such a company right but that being said let's get into exactly what it is they have changed and for first and foremost the aev edition adds 35 inch goodyear wrangler territory mt tires with an additional aev in the bed vertical spare tire mount. They have an updated front fascia and larger fender flares to enable larger, wider tracks and ultra high, best in class, 12.2 inches of ground clearance. They have a four and a half inch factory installed lift. That's one and a half inches more than the current Canon AT4X. They have the heavy duty AEV stamp steel front and rear bumpers with heavy duty recovery points. They have a five ultra high strength hot stamp, hot stamp, pardon me, boron steel skid plates. We're going to talk about that here in a moment. Uh, positioned, uh, and I'm going to tell you where those are positioned. Uh, exclusive AEV beadlock capable salt of wheels and, of course, AEV branding across the vehicle, including on bumpers, embroidered headrest uh, restraints, and all weather floor liners. So, those are basically in a very shortened version what they have changed and what they have added to what is already an amazing truck in the AT4X. Now, let's get into some of the points and let's talk about some of the more specifics as to you know where the AEV shines because of these components. So as I just mentioned, there is a one and a half inch increase in the size of the lift. So it's now four and a half inches as, a, as your regular AT4X is carrying a three inch factory lift. Now, two reasons of course for this, number one, well, of course, it's better stance, better ground clearance. And then secondly, th that is needed because of the larger tire. So if you did hear me mention, it is going to have 35 inch Goodyear Wrangler Territory MT tires. Now, what's really cool is talking to the engineers about this is they actually were designing these tires for this truck specifically um, with Goodyear. Um, a couple cool things, but of course, it's getting great traction, uh, you know, what, you know, regardless of the, of the train. But it's also they, they, they really noted the fact that they are a quiet tire. So it's not a super noisy tire when you're not utilizing it on the off-road conditions. But going back to the lift, of course, again, they needed that, that, that better clearance for the, you know, for the, for those bigger tires. Not only that, but of course, when they set up this top, they have the, you know, front fascia change, but there's also changes in and around the, the wheel well, the fender, the fender there in order to accommodate those tires. So these aren't tires you can necessarily just go slap on a regular AT4X, my understanding. Um, it is designed, you know, this truck is designed basically around those tires essentially as well. And these are, best of my knowledge, the largest tires you're going to get in a mid-sized truck from the factory as a factory order. 
And then these tires are wrapped around some pretty awesome looking AEV Celta wheels. Now, again, these are beadlock capable. So what I read in that, of course, is they're not beadlock they don't come beadlock, but they have the ability to have beadlock on them. And of course, if you didn't already know that, I know this from my off-road uh, Yamaha racing days is the beadlock wheels, especially when you're sliding, uh, is going to stop from that wheel from obviously coming off, the tire from coming off that wheel, right? So beadlock wheels, depending on how aggressive you are on the off-roading component, um, will be very necessary. And it's great to see that that is actually an option. And by the way, one of the things I forgot to mention off the top, it's not a huge, huge deal, but for some of you, it might be a big thing. Uh, they've actually upfitted the truck with three separate or three new uh, standard auxiliary control switches. So especially if you're going to run a light bar or something like that, they are they, in, inside the truck, um, they have those switches in there as well. There's actually a couple more things I want to talk about here too. And these are also technical, and I do apologize, I didn't mention this off the start, but there's just so much I, I, I didn't get into that at the start. But basically, there's also, of course, if you didn't know this, the, the AT4X, the regular AT4X, AT4X, and definitely I have a number of different videos on the AT4X actually. So if you want to find out all the particulars about the base model, if you want to call an AT4X a base model, um, go watch those videos. But it's also added something, you know, the, the AT4X has the, the drive modes, right? And they have one called the Baja mode. Well, this actually adds, the AEV edition adds to what was already a cool Baja mode in the sense that it's offering now a launch control system. Yes, that is basically you put your foot on, you press the button, you put your foot on the brake, you put your foot on the gas and when you're ready you let your foot off the brake and then the, the and then the gas uh, the gas is already on and you just go so there's a launch control feature in this new aev edition which i think is pretty cool all right now let's talk about the skid plates as mentioned there are five separate skid plates that are underneath this new AEV edition. Now, first of all, where are these placed? Well, I can tell you that they are placed and positioned along the radiator, the steering gear, the steering gear, pardon me, the transmission and the transfer case, fuel tank and rear differential for, of course, optimized underbody protection. Now, these are made from what they call a hot stamped boron steel. And let's get into that here a little bit. As you can see here, Hot stamped boron steel is a heat treated press hardened steel. Hot stamped is equals, of course, the process. Boron steel is the material. And as you can see here, the hot stamped boron steel is significantly stronger than aluminum or mild steel of the same thickness, providing an ex exponential high strength to weight ratio and superior resistance to gouging. That is the reasoning for this. And interestingly, if we want to talk back to when I was at actually the AEV plant, I did talk to Matt Felderman, who is, you know, who does multiple roles at, at, AD, at AEV. Um, but in our conversation, one of the things that we talked about was this, this, this treatment. And interestingly enough, my understanding is this was kind of learned on the original ZR2 Chevrolet Bison, where they had to learn how to incorporate higher strength, you know, steels and materials for protection at not the cost of a whole lot of weight. Now, of course, this AEV edition adds weight over the regular edition, but it could add a whole lot more if not for this new treatment that AEV has come up with. Next, let's talk about the steel stamp front bumper. Now, as a heads up, I will talk about the, you know, the breakover angles and all that kind of stuff here in a bit. You've already heard what the ground clearance is, which is my, again, my understanding is, is class leading, which is pretty cool. But let's talk about the front bumper and, you know, what this has over what you would normally have in an AEV or in regular AT4 deck edition. Um, it's form times, you know, form and, and function, signature AEV styling with enhanced capability. Uh, the high clearance design maximizes approach angle while providing additional protection off-road. There are two chassis mounted uh, recovery points, integrated fog lights and winch capable with the optional come up winch available. So again, reading that optional is not coming standard with the winch. I do think a truck of this level, this price, if you want it, in my own opinion, should have just automatically come with the winch, but I understand not everybody wants it. But again, for the minimal price it would add to the vehicle, I just assume that everyone should have had it. Hey, it is what it is. And then if we swing around the back, we can talk about the AEV steel stamped rear bumper as well. And what it says basically about that is it's steel stamped construction that complements the front bumper, high clearance design with enhanced corner protection. And by the way, these corners feature removable plastic caps with a replaceable 10 millimeter, 10 millimeter pardon me, thick steel skid plate AEV to provide this asset, of course, and two heavy duty chassis pointed, uh, mount, chassis mounted, pardon me, recovery points. Again, I really like the addition of those caps on there. So if you scratch it, if you damage it, um, you can, you can take those off, replace them. And not to mention it, it, it you know, it enhances the look of course of it. Uh, you do of course lose the step in the rear bumper, but we're not talking about a three quarter ton truck. I think it's pretty easy to 
step on the rear bumper to get in the back of that truck if you need it. I know it's a pretty cool feature in the regular, you know, canyons, but um, I don't think many of you are going to miss that, especially if you're a hard car off-roader, right? Um, so that's another really cool feature there as well. And then all this being said, of course, it's going to retain everything that the regular AT4X has with, you know, the Multimatic DSSV suspension. Um, you know, we've got, uh, what else do we have? You know, all the drive modes, as, as I mentioned, you know, numerous ability for cameras underneath the vehicle, around the vehicle. Um, it is going to be coming standard again. There is only one, you know, one size of truck, which is going to be the crew cab, which is going to be the five foot box. And it's only going to have, of course, the 2.7 liter uh, four cylinder turbo, 310 horsepower, 430 pound feet of torque. Uh, by the way, that, uh, you know, there's going to be no gearing differences the best of my understanding between this as well and i think the whole idea from what gmc said is this is more about mobility versus mo motivity Be meaning basically this is going to be more of a rock crawler rock crawler tight trail unit with all that extra protection of course on it right we're going to talk about here about the ground clearances actually i don't want to forget about that um but again it's made more for you know your 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 kind of you know really more aggressive off-roading versus the AT4X, which is maybe more lend itself more to a little higher speeds, more Baja, more sand, that kind of stuff. So there is some definite differences between these two trucks. I don't think necessarily one is better for somebody than another. Of course, we have some additional features with the AEV edition, but all that being said, let's dive into very quickly the, uh, you know, the ground clearances and the breakover angle, uh, you know, measurements on this. All right, so as you can see here, it's gotten stacked up against the Ford Ranger Raptor and the Jeep Gladiator, of course, two of its, you know, sort of competitors, I guess you would say. The approach angle is 38.2 degrees. Um, the only one that has better than that would be the Jeep Gladiator. The departure angle is 26 degrees. The breakover is 26.9 degrees, which is best in class of the three of these for sure. The ground clearance is by far the best as well at 12.2 inches. And of course, again, leaning back to what I talked about, those 35 inch tires will be the best in class, uh, compa you know, comparatively between these as well. All this being said, I am ultra impressed. I can't wait to get behind the wheel of one, actually. So if GMC is listening, don't forget about me, please. I really want a chance to try this. I've had the opportunity. If you didn't already see the video, check it out. I did uh, drive the 84X off-road already uh, down in North Carolina. I've got a very good video about that. Uh, you know, what I thought about that. And of course, I came away more than impressed with its capabilities. Uh, again, coming from the off-road world myself and, and racing and so on, uh, it really felt like a side-by-side -side to me on steroids, basically. All the luxury features in the inside, you know, um, you know, cooled seats and heated seats and leather and all that kind of stuff. But the ability to go on some really rugged trails, some really tight trails as well, that, you know, a half-ton half truck just wouldn't get through because of its sheer size difference. Um, so all that being said, really, really excited for this truck. Uh, you know, the, the expectation is the numbers of these are going to be, they're probably going to sell about 40% of these, you know, in the AEV edition, uh, and then maybe 60 in the regular AT4X. So they're expecting high numbers for these, and I don't see any reason why. Uh, and hopefully, you know, they can obviously keep up with the demand of you folks uh, out there today. But anyways, if you have any more questions in regards to this, maybe I've missed something you're curious about, comment below. And if you get a chance, if you watch this part of the video, hit that subscribe and like button. I'd really appreciate it. Until next time, take care.